Hey guys, welcome to another Elvistory video. Um, so, like a couple of video videos ago, I reposted something um, that I had uploaded when this channel first started about, you know, the tornado outbreak in uh, Tupelo, Mississippi in 1936. And I thought that was a good idea to redo that. Because, um, like I stated in that video, um, I put it up when I only had like maybe 50 subscribers or whatever. And I thought that was um, a good idea to repost it now, now that, you know, I have more subscribers. So, I went back again and I found one more video that I thought... Uh, in case you guys haven't seen it, I thought it would be worth it for me to uh, re-upload it. And this way, you know, my newer subscribers can see it because um, you really have to go way back into the, you know, very first, I think, uh, might be like the third video in that I ever did on this channel. So, um... I thought this was important as well. It's basically the story of um, how many times uh, Elvis, Gladys, and Vernon, uh, since moving to Memphis from uh, Mississippi in 1948, how many times uh, in 1948 to 57 did they move around uh, Memphis? And it was in total, it was about nine times. And so I thought, uh, like I said, I thought it was important for me to uh, redo this and re-upload it. This way, um, a lot of the newest subscribers could see this. Because I thought that part of uh, Elvis's history and, you know, Gladys and Vernon as well. I thought that, I thought that was a very important uh, thing. For all you guys to see this way, I mean, we all knew it was hard for them, you know, to make ends meet, you know, prior to Elvis becoming, you know, famous and everything. But I just wanted to give you guys uh, the exact locations where um, they lived in Memphis. And uh, I thought it would be a great thing for, like I said, you know. For everybody to see now, now that I have more subscribers, thankfully. So, without any further ado, I'll bring you to the rest of the video. I'll show you different pictures of uh, where um, the Presleys lived. And, you know, the addresses and what those addresses are nowadays. Because some of them aren't even uh, homes anymore. So it's quite interesting in that respect too. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And with those pictures, you know, like I said, I, I narrate the whole thing this way you guys, you know, have a good idea of uh, how many times they moved and where they moved before they got to Graceland. All right guys, all right. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for watching all my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you like this one, when you get done, if you wouldn't mind, just give that like button a quick hit because I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. All right, guys. I hope everybody's doing well. And uh, TCB and God bless. Okay, so the first place the Presleys lived when they moved to Memphis was 370 Washington Street. Today, this is nothing more than an empty lot with overgrown weeds and a chain link fence, as you can see in this picture. Then in 1949, the Presleys moved into a boarding house at 572 Poplar Street. The rent was reportedly less than $10 per week. Now this address is a parking lot adjacent to a downtown business. Then the Presleys moved into their Lauderdale Courts apartment on Winchester Avenue in 1949. Lauderdale Courts was a low-income housing project and the Presleys paid $35 per month in rent. 
They lived there until 1952 when their income exceeded the maximum amount allowed. This apartment actually now can be rented for the night for fans who want to actually sleep where Elvis did. Then, when the Presleys lost their low-income housing at Lauderdale Courts, they moved into a rooming house at 698 Saffron's where they stayed for the next few months. Today, that house is gone, and there is an empty lot where it once stood. Then, in their fifth move in as many years since they moved to Memphis, Elvis and his family moved in into an apartment at 462 Alabama Street. It was right across the street from Lauderdale Courts where they had lived not too long before. Now, as you can see in this picture, there's an interstate right where the home once stood. For the Presley's sixth move, they moved into this home at 2414 Lamar for a few months in 1955. Though the home still stands, it's no longer a private residence. It's actually a business now. The seventh home for the Presleys in Memphis was at 1414 Getwell. This was the last of the rentals for the Presley family. They lived here from September 1955 until March 1956 and reportedly paid a rent of $85 a month. This location, though, is now a business in a strip of shops on Getwell. After Elvis's sudden rise to fame in 1956, he then writes a check for $500 towards the purchase of a house for his, himself and his parents at 1034 Autobahn Drive, a well-to-do suburban neighborhood east of downtown Memphis. While Elvis is on tour on March 20th, his parents move into that new house. For the ninth and final move since moving to Memphis and their final move ever as a family, Elvis, Gladys, and Vernon moved into Graceland. And the story goes, in mid-March 1957, Vernon and Gladys Presley returned to their home on Autobahn Drive in Memphis. They had been in Hollywood visiting their son on the set of his second movie, Loving You. Due to problems caused by crowds of kids hanging around the Presley's house on Autobahn Drive, Elvis's parents began searching for a larger, more private residence for his family. It didn't take long to find what they were looking for. On March 16th, they called Elvis, who was finishing up his obligations in Hollywood, to tell him they had found a home they liked. It was a southern colonial mansion in the city's Whitehaven district. Two days later, Elvis returned to Memphis by train. The next day, Tuesday, March 19th, he went out to view the property with his parents. He was shown around by Mrs. Virginia Grant, who was handling the sale for its owner, Mrs. Ruth Brown Moore. Elvis immediately decided Graceland was just the thing he was looking for and put a $1,000 deposit on the property that was reportedly valued at $100,000. This is going to be a lot nicer than Red Skelton's house, Elvis said. Elvis wound up paying $102,500 for the purchase of his new home. 